A smile is an important thing, right? Uh, it could be a, a source of insecurity or it could be something that you take great pride in. So for me, my goal would just be to reach as many people as possible, especially those communities where dental care is hard to access, and just give everyone the knowledge and information they need to maintain a happy, healthy smile. For the last 10 years or so, I've been working in pharmacy, inpatient hospital. Uh, you know hospitals are never closed, so the hours can be kind of different, especially when you have a family at home. Uh, so dental hygiene kind of called my name a little bit with the hours and uh, just no holidays, no weekends. It just seemed to make the most sense for me and the family. I know it's crazy, but ever since I was in grammar school, I always wanted to be a hygienist. A dental hygienist is the person that works autonomously in a dental office. So we work in collaboration with the dentist trying to figure out what's going on with patients' oral health. And we may be providing treatment for them um, along with the dentist. They can diagnose everything that I can diagnose. The dental hygienist in our practice can do a lot of the, um, the things that I can do. Once they become certified in giving anesthetics, they can do that and all of the different things that are on the menu in the tissue bone aspect. And so once they demonstrate that they have those diagnostic skills and the knowledge, then they're able to do more. Of the 11 hygienists that we have on staff right now, I want to say eight of them went to KVCC. What they receive at KVCC is a very well-rounded education. We'll be in the classroom, we learn a little bit in lab, and then we try to take it to the patients during clinic. My favorite class so far would have to be oral pathology. Uh, it's kind of cool seeing how some of the different diseases that kind of manifest in the mouth can affect the rest of the body. When I get out of dental hygiene, the program, I think I will see myself in a clinic, probably just being a clinician, very hands-on. For a hygienist, it's an associate degree at most of the accredited dental hygiene programs in the United States. In the state of Michigan, we have the registered dental hygienist, and even Within the dental hygienist, we can get an endorsement on our license for local anesthesia and nitrous oxide. A person could go on and get their bachelor's in education, and that will make them really viable for working on the clinic floor with students types of things. With a bachelor's in business, you could really work in that entrepreneur or working for a dental company or pharmaceutical company in sales and do stuff like that. Um, there's also public health. An individual could work in a federally funded clinic, community clinics, um, those types of things, or even then work at the state level with public policy. It's uh, just a very, very wonderful day when I can go into the dental hygiene room and it's a new patient exam and the hygienist reviews everything that they've went through and when I just have to shake my head and yep, yep, yep. I think a two-year program, it's very beneficial. There's really nothing that can compare to this. It's one of the highest paying jobs with an associate's degree, so I think dental hygiene is really hard to match.